But sometimes before you even deny yourself, you have to believe that you can. <laughs> so many people get tripped up in this in this respect or in this place uh, at this stage. They're just like, they've been taught over and over again, you can't help but sin, you're just always going to do it, you know? And so when you get to this denying yourself, like, stage, you're just like, can I even do this, you know? I've been told time and time again, I'm, I'm just a sinner and all I'm going to do is sin and I can't help but sin and that's why I need Jesus. And the truth is, apart from Jesus, yes, that is the case. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Nobody's perfect, of course. That's Romans 3.23. We need Jesus. That's why John, he says, if you say you're without sin, you're, you make God a liar, you know, and the truth's not in you. But when you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to cleanse you of your sin, you know? He's faithful and just to cleanse you of your unrighteousness. And in that place, he also makes you holy, blameless, and above reproach when you surrender to him, when you truly repent. Not just confessing your sin, but turning away from your sin and turning unto him, fully surrendering who you are. It's in that place that he not only forgives you and cleanses you of sin and unrighteousness, but he lets you partake of his holiness, of his righteousness. And when you begin to partake of that holiness and righteousness, it's not only this positional thing. It will turn into a manifestation thing. It's not just positional. It's also behavioral. It starts as positional, but it bleeds. It permeates through every part of who you are, and it becomes behavioral. There's two difference. There's, there's, two di there's, there's a difference between positional and behavioral righteousness. And it's in the scriptures, but sometimes it doesn't get talked about enough. And I'll do a whole video on that later. But what I'm trying to get at is when you begin to believe that you can live differently, that you can begin to live as a new creation, when you actually begin to consider yourself dead to sin, it will empower you all the more to believe, wow, I can really deny myself. Wow, I can really say no to the flesh. Wow, I can really follow Jesus. Wow, I can really keep in step with the Holy Spirit. Wow, I can be an imitator of God. It, these are all scriptures. Ephesians 5.1, it literally says, be imitators of God as his beloved children and walk in love. And that's the key. That's what it looks like to live free from sin. That's what it looks like to be an imitator of God. That's what it looks like to follow Jesus. It looks like walking in love.